the court has analyzed the situation. Since there is no evidence, the defendant is acquitted. Lisa Peters does not have to pay compensation. Wow, thank you Mr. Hubracht. You're a really good lawyer. How do I pay you now? Mr. Polnikova has already paid me. Soon you'll have to do something for him? I have to go now. Goodbye, Mr. Peters. Thank you, Dad. I was so worried. We couldn't have done it without you, Lisa. The idea of asking Mr. Polnikova for help was great. This isn't the end yet. We'll show you again. Just until it works. Of course this is the end. Did you not hear the judge? You've lost the lawsuit. And that for good. Don't get excited too soon. We'll see you again soon. You've lost. Hi, Clara. Lisa told me what happened. First you try to hurt us and then you report it to us. You really are a monster. I've tried to apologize to you, Sarah. I was ready to change. What did you do? You've ridiculed me. You didn't accept my apology. That's why I've changed my mind. Enough with the pleasantries. Now it really starts. It's best to prepare yourself for a long school year. You're in my world now. I can do what I want with you here. So you haven't learned your lesson. That is clear. Lisa, what's wrong? Why do you look so sad? Aren't you looking forward to school at all? Yes, Dad. I love my new school. But Clara's ad showed me something. She is unpredictable. And it'll never stop until one of us is finished. I think I should go back to my old school. I have an eye on Clara. And I can protect my friends. Whatever your decision is, Lisa. We'll help you do that. I'm going to call Mrs. Mesk today and let her know. Thank you, Dad. You're the best. I have to go now. So I'm not late for class.
Hey Lara. I need to talk to you for a minute. Of course, Lisa. What is there anyway? I need to go back to my old school. What? Why is that? I can't leave the others alone with Clara. It's too dangerous. What a shame. I love having you here. I'm going to miss you too. We can still meet. We'll definitely do that. When are you going back to your old school? I'll think from tomorrow. My dad is talking to the headmistress today. All right. Let's go in. Classes start soon. Welcome back, dear students. You're all on time again. I'm so proud of you. You all get a one and an ice cream during your lunch break. I'm really going to miss this school. Hi Lisa. How was your day at school? He was great, as always. Have you already phoned Mrs. Mesk? Yes, I spoke to her. You can go back to your old school tomorrow. All right, thanks, Dad. I'm really going to miss my new school. Lisa, you're back. We've missed you so much. Welcome back, Lisa. Thanks, guys. I've missed you too. Is everything okay with you? Everything is going well here. But we need to go in. Mr. Coons gets very angry when we're all late. Hi, Clara. Welcome back, Lisa. I'm really happy that you're back. You'd better not be happy too soon. You lost the last time. Don't forget that. We'll see about that, Lisa. And who are you? I've never seen you here before. Hi guys. My name is Jonas. I've just moved. I'm going to your school now. Good morning, dear students. So you've already met Jonas. Please sit down now and listen carefully. Tomorrow we'll write a test about today's hour. Oh man, the topic today was really difficult. Yes, I didn't understand anything correctly. 
everything is so much easier at the other school. Really? Yes, we got a one there if we were on time. There were no tests or homework. Wow, that sounds wonderful. Hey guys, are you all right? Yes, everything is fine with us. We're concerned about the test. Your name is Jonas, right? Yes, that's right. You said you're new to Munich. Where are you from then? I've just moved from Frankfurt. My dad found a job here. Awesome. Welcome to our class. I need to tell you something. You spoke to Clara earlier. Please be careful with her. I know she seems like a nice girl. But she is evil and will take advantage of you. Trust me. We've all made the same mistake. All right, thanks for the tip, Lisa. I can also do something good for you. What do you mean by that? You said you were worried about the test, right? Yes. We didn't understand much today. We have to study all day. So that we can write a good grade. I can help you with that. But I need you to promise me something. Of course. What then? You can't tell anyone what I'm about to give you. Okay, I promise. Here are the solutions from tomorrow's test. What? You have the solutions for the test. Where did you get them from? It doesn't matter. Just trust me. With the solutions, you will write a good grade. I promise you that. Thanks, Jonas. You're great. Did you hear me, Sarah? We have the solutions from the test. Awesome. Then we can go to the movies or have an ice cream. Instead of studying all day. Thank you, Jonas. You're the best. I'd love to do that. You know, one hand washes the other. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, Lisa and Sarah. Good morning, dear students. We're starting the test today. It's on your desk. 
You have 60 minutes from now on. Good luck. Hey, the test is completely different. We were tricked. Oh man, the test was so hard. And Jonah's solutions didn't fit the questions at all. We'll definitely get a bad grade. Jonas, you tricked us. You've made it too easy for me. Have you not learned anything? You don't trust strangers. What are you doing here, Clara? You've fallen for my trick again. Did you really think Jonas was on your side? We've been together for two years already. He moved especially for me. At least it's fair now. Two against two. You're not going to get away with this, Clara. We'll see about that. Which city is Jonas from? A. Dresden. B. Munich. C. Frankfurt. Write a comment.